you're getting a first look at the HyperAdapt 1.0, and yeah, this is our first step into the future of Adaptive Fit. Initially, uh, HyperAdapt was influenced strongly by um, Tinker's uh, work on the Back to the Future um, shoe, the Nike Mag. And that was about 30 years ago, and then roughly about 10 years ago, we started really working on the, the technology, and he got further and further inspiration from um, other movies and some insects and the classic look of a Chuck Taylor. We had lots of fun challenges um, during the, the long process of the shoe. One thing was the size and the weight of the electronics. So the battery mechanism, all of that um, being uh, light enough and small enough to not impact the performance of the shoe. So we didn't want users to feel like, oh man, that's super heavy. And we definitely didn't want them to feel like their cushioning or their transition was interrupted at all. Also, the fit system, getting it to fit consistently and be instantly and precisely controlled with the mechanism and the lace engine, those were big challenges that took a long time to really develop and get just right for, for a majority of our consumers. MT squared, you have on the bottom, it stands for Mark Parker, Tinker Hatfield, and myself. Um, you also have uh, Earl on the tongue, and that stands for Electro-Adaptive Reactive Lacing, and that kind of explains the technology and, and how it behaves. So this is the packaging that the HyperAdapt 1.0 will come in. When you open it up, you get the two shoes, right and left, the charger, the service manual, and how the shoe charges, um, you use these pucks. They're magnetic and it sticks to the MT2. So you just stick it right on there and it charges. It takes about two hours and it should last for about a week. You also get uh, the uh, service card. And so on the front of this card just says HyperDap 1.0. On the back you have a dedicated phone number that's just for HyperDap owners. And they, they can call Nike, get a hold of someone right away and ask any questions, any problems they have. Uh, we have an elevated level of customer service um, for this product so that any questions or concerns you have at all, uh, you just give them a call and they can answer them for you. Uh, you also have uh, your charger wall wart. Um, so the charger is a USB plug and it can plug into this wall wart into the wall or you can use it um, to plug into an external battery pack um, that can charge two amps and it'll charge your shoes too. The buttons tighten and loosen it so when it automatically adjusts um, it's kind of to a comfort setting so it's sensing the tension around your foot and then if you want it tighter or looser you can just go ahead and press those and then Throughout your day, you know, if you want to make a quick adjustment to the shoe, you just press the button. The buttons are a little hard to push, and that's intentional so that you don't accidentally false trigger them. We are super excited about the future and where this is going. You know, this is a baby step. This is our first step, um, and you manually control it with the buttons. It does have the auto lacing feature, but in the future, um, it'll it'll anticipate you much more. And we're we're really excited about where that's going. Ah!